in previous lecture we studied about calculation of pcr benefit cost ratio okay in today's session we are going to learn about calculation of irr that is internal rate of return okay so this internal rate of return is also one of the discounted methods of project appraisal okay so first of all we see the meaning and concept of irr and then we start to calculate irr okay so irr the long form of irr is internal rate of return okay so working of irr provide the knowledge of actual rate of return from different project that means this irr provide us the knowledge of actual rate of return from different project so this irr is also called as marginal efficiency of capital or yield on investment okay so for objective type question it may be asked irr is also known as marginal efficiency of capital or it is also called as yield on investment okay the definition of irr the irr is that discount rate at which present values of net cash flows are just equal to zero that means the irr is that discount rate at which npw is equal to zero that discount rate is known as irr okay this is the definition of irr so uh, calculation of irr there is no any straight forward method for calculation of irr so this irr is calculated generally on trial and error basis that means by using the alternative rate of discount till the npw of project reaches to zero you have to calculate the irr by trial and error method okay that means while calculation of irr we must need to finalize the discount factor by trial and error method and after finalization of upper and lower discount rate the interpolation method is used to calculate actual irr of a project the formula of irr by interpolation method is irr is equal to ldr that is lower discount rate plus difference between two discount rates in bracket npw of ldr divided by absolute difference between npw at two discount rate okay where ir is equal to internal rate of return ldr is equal to lower discount rate and npw is equal to present net present worth okay this is the formula of calculation of irr okay after calculation of irr next point that is selection criteria on the basis of irr generally all the project having written about the opportunity cost of capital are selected for making the investment so this is the measure of earning capacity of the project that means project is selected when project is having more return on opportunity cost of capital okay so now we move toward the calculation of irr okay so here is one example that is calculate irr for a given project at the rate of 40 and 43 discount rate from following information so this is the cost and benefit information of a project which is given to you and these are the two discount factor that is 40 and 43 this 41 uh, 40 is low discount rate and 43 is the higher discount rate by using this two discount rate you have to calculate irr of a project okay now we move toward the solution of this problem so in solution first step that is calculate of net income so this net income can be calculated by subtracting cost from benefit that means net income is equal to benefit minus cost we get net income of respective year so for first year benefit is zero minus 38900 your net income will be minus 38900 okay similarly for second year 
1475 minus 9239 your net income will be 19236 okay so similarly you have to calculate net income for respective year this is the first step that is calculation of net income after calculation of next net income next step that is to calculate discount factor okay so here the discount factor formula for discount factor tf is equal to 1 plus i raised to minus t okay so first of all we have to calculate the discount factor at the rate of 40% discount rate okay so i is equal to 40% for calculation we use reason of fraction that is 0.40 time period which is given to you that is 1 to 5 year for first year discount factor 1 plus 0.40 raised to minus 1 which is equal to 0.7142 <coughs> similarly you have to calculate discount factors for next 5 year at the rate of 40% discount rate okay after calculation of discount factor next step that is calculate npw at the rate of 40% discount rate okay so npw is net income into discount factor at the rate of 40% so here net income that is for first year minus 38900 into discount factor that is 71 sorry 0.7142 which is equal to minus 27782.38 okay so similarly you have to calculate npw of respective year and finally make the summation of all the npws at the rate of 40% discount factor okay then fourth step that is calculate discount factor at the rate of 43% okay so uh, similarly calculate the discount factor by using discount rate at the rate of 43% so for first year 1 plus 0.43 raised to minus 1 so your discount factor will be 0.6993 okay similarly you have to calculate the discount factor of next 5 year okay after next that is fifth step that is calculate npw at the rate of 43% discount rate similarly the npw can be calculated by multiplying discount factor into net income okay so npw for first year that is 38900 and discount factor at the rate of 43% that is 0.6993 which is equal to minus 27200 2.77 okay so similarly you have to calculate npw for respective five years and then finally make the summation of npw at 43% after getting the summation of npw at the rate of 43 40% and 43% next step that is to calculate irr so irr formula for irr is equal to ldr plus difference between two discount rate in bracket npw at ldr divided by absolute difference between npw of two discount rate okay by putting the values in a formula we can calculate irr so ldr which is 40% that means 40 and 43 are the two discount rate out of that 40 is lower discount rate plus difference between two discount rate that means 43 and 40% discount rate so you have to take the difference between these two discount rate my uh, in bracket npw of ldr that means 40% npw at the rate of 40% discount rate which is uh, 1206.56 divided by absolute difference between npw of two discount rate that is 1206.56 minus in bracket minus 21 sorry minus 121.47 okay by solving this bracket you get this figures and finally after making the summation of 40 plus 0.27 we get irr of 
42.72 percent okay this is your final answer that is 42.72 percent okay then next point that is conclusion on the basis of IRR so your calculated IRR is 42.72 which is greater than lower discount rate hence project is financially feasible and accepted okay so this is all about calculation of IRR okay so here is next example that is calculate IRR for a given project at the rate of 25 and 30 percent discount rate and by using for following information you have to calculate IRR of a project okay so this is the cost and benefit data which is given to you you have to solve and calculate IRR and write in your practical manual okay so this is all about calculation of IRR if you have any query or any doubt then ask me okay thank you all